Today we're going to show you how to use Wandering Trades in your Minehunt server. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> to start off, everyone grab a stack of emeralds because we're going to need them. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I've never seen this many emeralds in my life. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> so we're going to do slash WT space summon natural. We summon a, a wandering trader, but uh, if you look into what he's trading, you'll notice some interesting items here. So come on over and oh. see. I could buy your head. <laughs> you can. Yeah, you can. Keep in mind, you can also change what these traders sell. In case you want something like a quest system or a shop system, we can do a lot of neat stuff with this. Hurry up, we all want to use the trader, Michael. Uh, sorry, I needed red sand. Like, really badly. All right, I have a head. <laughs> I've made a lot of heads. It's perfect. It's perfect. The red sand so, really ties your heads together. It does, oh, thank you. So we're going to do another one. We're going to summon a Microblox trader. So this guy sells micro blocks. Hmm. So, uh, ooh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get oak plants. Oak plants. Oh, I get it. Huh. I'm going to get oak planks. I'm gonna put tiny oak planks everywhere. This just sells the uh, little micro versions. Oh, look, another one. I'm gonna do. I think you may have already done this. Summon villager. Micro blocks. Desert. Armorer. Oh. So each of these guys sells something different. So you can get That's micro cool. diamond blocks. This guy oh, has a bunch blocks? of other micros. Yeah, the the desert guy has micro diamond blocks and a bunch of other micro stuff which is really cool Ooh, that's cool <clears throat> and then you can change the appearance of the villager you can change what it sells a lot of cool stuff so we're gonna do that right now with slash wt space edit it'll bring up a gui and it just has a bunch of little things that are already here but you can uh you can make new ones we're gonna is, uh, we're gonna on this server one. on this server we call them gooeys Gooeys. I don't know. Last <laughs> time I said gooeys, I got made fun of in the Discord. So I'm like, okay, well, fine. Well, I won't call it gooeys. Well, you know what? Your Discord is wrong. And you shouldn't feel bad. You, you, it was you, the Minehunt Discord. I <laughs> <laughs> well, don't know what they're talking about in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make a new config. I'm going to name it MH Tut. Uh, and we're going to click on image tut. Perfect. Click my first trade. And then we are going to add a new item by clicking green head at the bottom. So you can use this on go. your server to like spawn different custom traders and like let people spawn them in if you really need to. Uh, or just have them in your spawn area. So this is really good for like an SMP or uh, you know like a survival type server, or even like yeah. you know just just anything where you're playing like some form of survival. Exactly. It's also just a different kind of cooler version of having a shop. Yeah. Yeah. Like you could I have, agree you could have a shop that's tied into a sign, or you know just like a stationary, or you could actually just have this trader that kind of walks around a designated area, and that's your shop. Signs can't go mm, at you, you know. Mm -hmm. that's, a big point. that's a big that's the selling point right there so let's see i'm going to do something cool i'm gonna make my own trade real fast so i in my gui you guys can't see it but in my gui i am making a oh, yes yes <laughs> i am yes, making yes. a <laughs> new trade <laughs> All right, I'm editing the image tut trade. I'm making a new trade and I'm going to make it so... These guys are talking to each other. 
Are they? Yeah. <laughs> They're conspiring. We're gonna on make. The we're sorry, sorry, we're interrupting. Sorry. We should. Yeah. Okay. You are. How <laughs> dare you? Here, I'm gonna make it so uh, one emerald plus one diamond equals a netherite sword. Ooh. That's too powerful. Yeah. Well, this is the mine. The mine hut. This is this is the mine hut experience. Uh, Unbalanced. They, they got that. in the boat. Uh, I think they um, want to go. Image item. <laughs> they do. Be gone. Go. I'm trying to put okay. them in the water. Go on. <laughs> How do we push them into the water so that they can sail away? Uh, um, who, who sang that song, Trent? <laughs> yeah, use water. Use water. Use water. They use, water. They use a water bucket to move them. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to get our trader set up. <laughs> All right, um, we'll just do one cool. But we're gonna do WT edit. Go back to image touch. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> you got more, them in the more. water. <laughs> Yay! Hi, traders. Be free. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna call this real trader. Yes. Okay. Tutorial trader. So here we go. We're going to summon our our uh, custom trader. Those of you watching at home, just go through the steps that I showed on screen. <laughs> there he is. So here's our tutorial trader. Custom name and everything. Yeah. Hmm. So get nice. your diamond out and your oh, emerald oh, out. Oh, it worked! Well, I got that netherite sword. Oh, I picked up. I can only one. buy it once. You got the only sword. <laughs> <laughs> Run. Run. <laughs> no! Sorry, 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 sorry. Our <laughs> And uh, that's how you set up your own custom trader. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let us know in the comments uh, if you use this and how you use it. I'd love to know. Just like, do you set up like a store? Do they just kind of wander around? Uh, do you have some other cool custom way to use them that we didn't even talk about? Let us know in the comments if you do use it.